Welcome to this video where you will understand the duration of numbness caused by neuropathy because I empathize with you that numbness and pins and needle sensation sometimes they can be so overwhelming that you would ask yourself how long will this numbness last and when will this end? Hi, this is again Doc Sherry, Doctor of Physical Therapy, teaching you health tips and home exercise programs that will surely benefit you. Numbness is a loss of sensation or decreased sensation. These can be felt in different parts of the body, but the most commonly affected would be the hands and the feet. And these can be caused by a lot of factors. But if you're asking yourself, how long will you experience the numbness? This is actually caused or affected by four factors. The most important factor that will help determine the duration of numbness is actually the cause of numbness. For instance, if the cause of numbness is due to temporary conditions or minor incidents, such as standing or sitting for too long, usually numbness subsides on its own within minutes or hours. However, if the cause of the numbness is due to chronic conditions such as diabetic neuropathy, wherein the nerves are damaged due to poorly controlled blood sugar level, then you can expect the numbness would last longer. In some cases, if the damage is severe, numbness will decrease but it may not completely go away. But don't worry, the coping strategies that you will learn later, it will help you. The second factor that will help determine the duration of numbness is actually the severity of the condition. For example, if you're feeling numbness in your thumb, middle index, and medial half of your fourth finger due to carpal tunnel syndrome, the cause of this is actually a compression in the median nerve at the level of your wrist. You can expect faster recovery as compared to a patient who have the nerve totally severed or cut due to spinal cord injury during an accident that happened in the spine. If the cause of numbness is due to compression, you will experience relief of symptoms as soon as the nerve is decompressed. That's even the reason why we have different decompression techniques that we do in the clinic. However, if the nerve has been completely cut, you need to extend your patience because nerves, these are long bundles of fibers and nerve healing rate is only one inch per month. If you think that this video is helpful, I would really appreciate it if you can take only one second of your time to please click the like button below as your way of supporting me and this channel. The third factor that will determine the duration of numbness is actually the effectiveness of your treatment. I have been reiterating this that getting to the root cause of the problem, it would really spike up your chances of recovery. For example, in the case of diabetic neuropathy, having tight blood sugar control, this can really help improve your symptoms. Now, treatment can vary depending on the cause of neuropathy. May it be carpal tunnel syndrome or numbness felt at the back and the back part of your lower leg caused by sciatica. But usually, these are a combination of conventional treatment such as medicines used to treat neuropathic pain, antidepressants, anticonvulsants, use of vitamins and supplements such as your B-complex, vitamin B12, magnesium, and alpha-lipoic acid. You can also have physical therapy wherein we use different modalities to decrease the pain. We help you gain back the strength due to weakened muscles caused by nerve damage. And we will teach you how to improve your balance and increase your functional independence for patients who have incurred spinal cord injury. And of course, you also need lifestyle change. You need to choose the right foods for you and you need to avoid alcohol and nicotine because these can all increase numbness. And lastly, surgery is the last resort. Always remember this, early and appropriate treatment, it can lesser the duration of numbness while delayed and inappropriate treatment, it can prolong the numbness. 
the last factor that will help determine the duration of numbness is your overall health. Yes, you've heard it right. Clinical studies have actually shown that people who have chronic conditions along with numbness, they have a poorer recovery rate as compared to healthier individuals. Next time, when you ask how long will this numbness last, ask yourself these questions. What is the cause of your numbness? How severe is the nerve damage? What treatment options have you tried? And which one works best for you? And which one made you feel better? And what lifestyle change have you made so far? In conclusion, the duration of numbness can be affected by these four factors. The cause of numbness, how severe the damage is to the nerves, what treatment options have you tried, and your overall health. I hope that this video has shed a light on you on the duration of numbness. Try to honestly assess where you are at at your healing process. Be honest and be patient. If you're suffering with long-standing numbness and pins and needles sensation, try these coping strategies. Keep warm. Clinical studies have actually shown that cold climates can actually increase numbness, especially in the hands and in the feet. Maintain good posture and avoid sitting in one position for too long. These can actually increase numbness and other symptoms caused by neuropathy. Use the proper footwear. The best footwear for you is the one that can support and protect your toes. Now, flip-flops is definitely not recommended if you're having foot neuropathy. This will predispose you to developing wounds. Manage your stress level. Whether we like it or not, your stress can actually exacerbate symptoms of numbness. And lastly, do lifestyle change. Choose the proper food for you and avoid alcohol and nicotine because it can flare up numbness. In conclusion, duration of numbness can be determined by what causes the numbness, how severe is the damaged nerve, what treatment options have you tried so far, and what is your overall health. If you have reached the end of this video, please comment down below and let me know if you know what causes your numbness. And if you do, please comment also, what is it? Is it due to sciatica, carpal tunnel syndrome, or diabetic neuropathy? This way, I can guide you better. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you find this video helpful. This is again Doc Sherry. Stay safe, stay happy and healthy. See you on our next video.